this success belongs to all of humanity. The Indian Prime Minister hailed the successful landing of India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on the moon. The Wednesday landing made India the fourth nation ever to accomplish such a feat, behind the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China. Chandrayaan-3 landed closer to the moon's south pole than any other spacecraft in history has ventured, a significant achievement, as the south pole region is considered an area of key scientific and strategic interest worldwide because scientists believe it is home to water ice deposits. That ice could be converted into rocket fuel or even drinking water for future crewed missions. And that successful landing came just a couple days after Russia crashed. All right, scientists have fully sequenced the Y chromosome for the first time ever. The achievement uncovers information that could have implications for the study of male infertility and overall health problems. The first attempt to unlock the building blocks of our genetic code took place 20 years ago, but more than half of the sequences with the Y chromosome couldn't be uncovered. The Y chromosome is the smallest and the most complicated of the 46 chromosomes that we have. Researchers were able to do this thanks in part to new long read sequencing technology. And check out this, NASA's inviting organizations to apply for their own moon tree. They're just like regular trees, but moon trees are grown from seeds that flew around Earth's natural moon. Nearly 2,000 seeds were on the Artemis mission in 2022 circling the moon, including sycamore, sweet gum, sequoia, and pine trees. The Forest Service germinated them into seedlings that are ready to be planted. Only organizations like schools, museums, and science centers and community groups can apply for one. You have until October 6th to do so. And this is really an ode to the Apollo 14 mission. When pilot Stuart Rusa brought hundreds of seeds with him on the trip of the moon in 1971, and most of those were later planted in 1976, and some still thrive today. So I encourage you to apply for those. They have plenty to go around, so we should be able to get some cool ones across North Georgia, probably those pine tree varieties.